to a new vault log. This will be a very short video. I just want to show you a soldering technique called uh, drag soldering. So whenever you find uh, yourself having to solder a long string of uh, inline pins, just like I have on this PCB, you can uh, use this method and get very good results in probably half the time. As an example, I have this board that I designed to hold uh, LED modules, which have uh, dual 20 pins inline packaging. So to start, you are going to need a soldering tip that has a wider contact surface. And I'm using this angled chisel type, which is great for this method for two reasons. It gives me a larger contact surface and also has a good thermal mass, so I will not lose as much temperature as I'm soldering multiple pins at a time. Next, you set your temperature as you would uh, normally be using it for that job, except if you are using a crappy Chinese soldering station like I am, you should go uh, 20 to 30 degrees C above that, just to compensate for the soldering station not regulating the temperature very good. Next, flux is very important in this operation, and I'm using this uh, water-soluble type. I am applying lots of it to avoid forming any solder bridges. To start, I'm going to apply some solder wire to the first joint until I create a nice blob of solder. And then, as I start dragging the soldering iron across the pins, I'm constantly feeding more solder wire to keep that solder blob constant. You need to drag at a constant rate, and that rate is something you have to find in your particular case. What's important is that each solder joint gets enough contact time with the soldering iron to reach the required temperature for a good reliable soldering joint. You might find it difficult at first, you will get solder bridges, especially if you don't use enough flux, but once you've mastered the technique, you will at least half the time it would normally take you to do that soldering job. So that was all for this video, I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the like button. Thank you for watching this.